Hey guys, Kronegger here. Hola, this is a new series in which I'll talk about guns that have been present in the main games. Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, Borderlands 3, and some of us will also talk about Borderlands Apple sequel. So let's talk about the school masher and let's see how things have changed. In Borderlands 1, all Jacob's snipers had a 150% critical hit damage modifier. The school masher had a uniquely high projectile count. You could fire 6 pellets for only 1 ammo, and if combined with the double X variant which gave the weapon knockback, we had as a result one of the best snipers you could get in the game. The only disadvantage was a decreased accuracy, since it was half shotgun, half sniper, you would have to use it at close mid range against small enemies. And let me tell you, this playstyle is the only thing that did not change about the school masher in the following games. In Borderlands 2, it gets a new skin. Now, all Jacob's snipers had a 160% critical hit damage modifier. The school masher loses one of its projectiles and gets a wider spread, a faster fire rate, the same recoil. Sadly, in Borderlands 2, this gun wasn't as popular as it used to be. It was a nice option for Sniper Zero, however, it was completely overshadowed by other snipers like the Pimpernel, the Layura, the Amigos in Zero, which were better options for most builds. In Borderlands Zapper sequel, it was pretty much the same gun that it was in Borderlands 2, except that it had 6 pellets again, and it was incredibly strong. I mean, Borderlands Zapper sequel did not have an endgame like OP levels or making levels, which made a huge difference. Also, Aurelia had accuracy and speed projectile bonuses that paired extremely well with the school masher. In Borderlands 3, it gets a new skin again, and now all Jacob's gun have a ricochet effect whenever you crit an enemy. The school masher loses a pellet again, so now it has only 5, but it gains even much faster fire rate, even, even faster than in Borderlands 2. It got buffed twice, so it got more damage, more accuracy, less recoil, and it's great. Overall, this is a great sniper in Borderlands 3. There are so many synergies with flag and items like the manufacturer artifacts that just make this gun top tier. And that's it. That's a little bit of the history of this school masher. This video made my brain hurt, so let me know what weapon I should do next. Bye bye. Thank you.